Taurus. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Six of Swords. And this card came out sideways. This is confusion or toing and froing on which way to go. This card upright is making a difficult decision to leave a situation in the hope of calmer waters. And in reverse, it's refusing to leave a difficult situation. The lady on this front of this card, sorry, in the front of the boat, is exhausted and leaving with the, only the clothes on her back to go and start fresh. I feel like you have your moments of contemplating the pros and cons of leaving or staying in a certain situation, but there isn't any clarity here as yet, so don't jump into anything. Sometimes it's better to wait for more information and clarity before making a decision. In your obstacle position, the Page of Pentacles. This is an energy of dedication and the willingness to put in the work to get the outcome. The pages are our communication cards and the learners of the tarot. With this card in your obstacle position, I would just ensure you are communicating fully and truthfully. The lack of hard conversations may be contributing to the confusion energy. In the past energy, we have the death card which came out in reverse. This is about letting go of the old, the past, old beliefs. Something needs to die so you can grow and transform in a situation. This card indicates something isn't over, however it does need to transform. The sun is rising in the background and it's standing out to me. So I feel like this is positive and hopeful. However, it may not feel this way during the upheaval and the change. In the future energies, we have the Eight of Wands. This is having clarity and going after what you want. It's moving forward, fast. It's possibly lots of communication and it even could be growth in a romantic relationship. This card can be referred to as the arrows of love flying through the air and the growth on the end of the wands is highlighted to me. I feel like it may be necessary to also look at yourself in this situation and what you can control and work on or heal within yourself as that may help give you clarity on the bigger situation. Let's grab a gateway oracle card. Any further messages or guidance for Taurus? Any further messages or guidance for Taurus? Whoop. Awakening ancient wisdom. Deep inner knowing is emerging within me. The wisdom of the ages dwells within you. It is arising now. The chalice of wisdom is being offered to you. Pay attention to the coincidences, signs and synchronicities around you. Profound enlightenment is growing within you, even if you are not aware of it. The universe wants you to know. The wisdom of the, your ancestors, your predecessors and all of history exists deep within you. An inner portal is opening as this sacred information pours into your consciousness. You have always possessed inner knowledge, but at this juncture, simply by being still, you are able to access it with even greater perception. You are a wise being and your wisdom is very supportive and helpful to others. Questions to ask yourself. To understand a dream, sign or synchronistic event, ask yourself, if this symbolized a message from the ancients, what would it be? How can I access even more wisdom within myself? How can the wisdom of the past help my present and my future. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.